Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a prescriptive process model. So what are the uh, different types of prescriptive process model? Now let us see. The different types of prescriptive process model are waterfall model. We call it as also the linear sequential model. Linear sequential model and incremental model incremental model rad model rad model so these are these three comes under the prescriptive process model so whenever uh, the question comes that write about the prescriptive process model try to write about these three so these three the explanation with the diagram okay so the prescriptive process model was a waterfall model incremental model and the rad model so the waterfall model i already explained in the previous videos now let us see the next uh, that is an incremental model now let us see incremental model so incremental model actually it is used when requirements are well understand whenever you are the person the person who is implementing the project okay the team that is going to be implement the project they have to well understood the requirements whatever the user has given okay so let me write the points first incremental model it is used when requirements are well understand requirements are well understood then only you try you proceed with the incremental model and the next point the multiple independent deliveries are identified in the incremental model you will came across you will under uh, identify the multiple independent deliveries means once one module is over means one concept or one module is completed then the delivery will be there and the multiple uh, everyone is independent to the other okay it's a small unit modules so every module will be delivered independently multiple independent deliveries or identified in the incremental model and the next point here the workflow is linear fashion so just like a uh, waterfall model uh, the incremental model is also the workflow is linear fashion within an increment and a Staggered between an increment. So within an increment and in the staggered between the increment, the workflow is always linear. Means after the completion of communication, they go for planning. After the completion of planning, they go for modeling. Like that. After the completion of one phase only, they will shift to the another phase. Once that, that phase is freezed, then goes to the another phase. Like that. So it's a sequential flow. Workflow in a linear fashion in incremental model. And here the, it, uh, the concept of iterative will become uh, incremental model also uh, the iterative will become means once planning is over again they try to communicate with the person is still any requirements are there like that. So it is iterative in nature iterative in nature and it focuses on an operational product with each increment it focuses on an operational product with each increment so this is about the incremental model so if it is used when requirements are well understood then whenever there is a multiple I mean sir, it is a concept of delivering the multiple independent uh, modules so the multiple independent deliveries are identified in incremental model here the workflow should be a linear so that's why we are calling it as a per prescriptive process the prescriptive process always follows the uh, sequential flow the linear fashion and actually it is, should be iterative in nature even though it is iterative in nature but it follows a linear fashion one after the other okay so in any stage some any uh, problem is occur it just follow the iterative in nature and it is focused on an operational product with each increment so let me show you the diagram how this incremental model will be let us take the first increment this is one module increment one so in the increment one they'll try to first communication communication with the uh, customer next 
they try to planning on the requirements next stage is the planning next stage is modeling so after modeling they try to construct the product means in implementation construction so final deployment so once one module is completed one iteration is completed they try to deliver the product so this is one independent uh, process and next they'll take the another in increment two so in the increment two they start with the so once one one module is try to planning do the work so the another team will take the another module they start with the communication with the first customer they communicate with the customer then they try to planning the project of the second module when this this team is in planning stage and the first team will be in modeling stage because everything will be independent to each other so there is no communication there is no dependent relationship so this will be once communicated if at the product is successful they can deploy and it, uh, another team will take another uh, module and try to communicate okay so why we are starting we can start here also but the problem is if the same customer is there if once the one customer is discussing with one module once he hand over the project then he'll take the another module and communicate with the people so one team is in a planning stage and another team will uh, come to in the queue okay one after the another so it is an incremental model one after the another so planning next modeling next try to construct and deploy okay so in another stage in increment three so when they are in planning one team is in modeling stage and next is in planning stage and in the third they are trying to communicate communication communication next they are planning that module and modeling Next, try to construct and deployment. So, this is how the incremental model will be work. Thank you.